ho, ho, ho. Uh, it's a bit late for that. Yep, I did want that. Strict cut off because, of course, uh, I've, 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 I've fluffed this being a Christmas special. But still time for that uh, New Year treat. Uh, if anybody is uh, super Christian, of course, you'll know that we are in the period of Christmas rather than just the Christmas area. But I don't want to limit my listenership to thinking, oh, Eddie, is this got to be a Christian potty? No way! This is uh, it's for everybody. It does uh, any creed, race, religion, <laughs> creed, creed and race. <laughs> I know I'm doing a podcast set in uh, like about a book set in Victorian England, but it's, it's a more clumsier way of saying I'm trying to do something inclusive than saying creed and race. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure to to be doing stuff for you again, guys. I hope you're all okay. Hope uh, I know there's been a few new listeners uh, since 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 the last episode where we're we're currently on a little longer break uh, as I'm recording the final chapters uh, if you want a little update you might have seen on my Instagram or my Twitter a bit of a, a, a video of, of how that's going that's uh, at Eddie Hurst uh, E-D-Y-H-U-R-S-T on Twitter Instagram and forward slash Eddie Hurst on Facebook I'm hoping to get it out in the next few weeks fingers crossed uh, I've got some exciting guests who have come on uh, some people who have given me more time than quite frankly uh, i think i deserve of them uh, i'm i'm delighted to to have them have them sharing their knowledge with you uh, and sharing their time as well because they're very funny people and they're very interesting people also a big thank you to people who reached out to me after the um after the break and, and offered to help out i mean what a talented bunch of listeners we have here uh, some of you might not know but a uh, regular listener to the show uh, craig designed the 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 recent artwork that you see as well as uh, paul paul banksy banks from peril designs who did the original artwork as well and that's amazing and i've had help from tom o'callaghan in getting uh, some design ready for the live shows <laughs> like you know we're trying to do the, the podcast let alone bringing this bad boy to life but uh, actually uh, I, uh, some of you might remember from chapter one but of course the podcast originally started as it was going to be eddie hurst comedy version of jeff wayne's musical version of hg wells literary version by Orson wells radio version and steven spielberg's film version of the war of the worlds and then we decided to go to the podcast and and now we've got both trains running at the same time and i kind of feel a little bit like you know you know like in a western when you've got a cowboy and they're on the two horses and you're like how is he why has he done that why has he done that with his life that's what that's me but I am hoping to get the podcast uh, all finished and ready for you all to enjoy the full book in time for the performance of uh, the live version of War of the Worlds, which the first one is the 19th of February in Leicester at the Attenborough Arts Centre as part of the Leicester Comedy Festival. And the second one is uh, the 4th of March, which is part of um, Vault Festival, which is at Waterloo Station. So uh, that's a that's a, a, a tenuous uh, historic reference. Will I get distracted on stage and, and talk about about that for a bit uh prob- prob- probably probably will that's something to look forward to uh i'm also in talks with uh, some other festivals coming up so uh i'll let you know don't worry uh, of course you. I'll let but you know. you know please do come along the live show is a bit more of me retelling war of the worlds rather than going through each chapter by chapter but also paying homage to different different people who have, who have done it before as the title suggests uh, there's original songs songs that have never been heard not even in the podcast uh, despite i probably should have to save my workload but hey there you go uh so you know it'll be it'll be the same sensibility as this but a whole new thing and i'll see you there anyway i wanted to drop in to say thank you so much for listening everybody hello to the new listeners uh, i hope you're enjoying the show um please do like rate and subscribe if you haven't already you can now rate podcasts on spotify oh but of course um i itunes remains but of course, Apple Podcasts remains the, the most fruitful for the reviews giving a boost. Uh, but also, I, I know a few of you listen on iHeartRadio and stuff. So please do do share it. Share it out wherever and anywhere 
you can. So thank you so much to everybody listening and thank you to everyone who's been involved in the podcast this year as well. It means the world to me and I'm really proud of what we've made. Uh, as a little Christmas gift, what I've done is I've rummaged about my attic. Uh, I've, I've pushed out the old annual magazines. Do you remember when they were a thing? A uh, bit of nostalgia, that's always fun. I've pushed out that, I've rummaged through, I've gotten rid of those cursed China dolls. Finally! Maybe my house will stop burning! Um, and I've found an old song. I think it might be my first ever Christmas song, which uh, probably sounds strange uh, for most humans, but for a musical comedian, uh, it, it's a pretty common thing to make more of. Anyway, this is uh, this is a song I, I wrote about nativity plays and uh, the, the, the the feelings that I had uh, when I was always cast as a shepherd rather than an angel. Um, I don't know what it was. Angels, like, the girls were always cast as angels, I think, as, as I remember it. Like, Gabriel, it was kind of like, Gabriel famously a, a male angel, thanks to the uh, patriarchal view of the Catholic Church, um, was was in, instead changed to Gabrielle. Which, you know what? Fine. Fine. Do what you want. It's your nativity. Adapt it however you want. But that doesn't mean I didn't want that sweet, sweet role of the, of the messenger angel. Uh, which I did not get. And I'm absolutely fine about, which is why I wrote a song about it. But thanks again. I uh, hope you've all had a great festive time, a, a great end of year celebrations, and, and continue to do so. And uh, here's hoping that 2022, maybe we get to see each other in the real world. Uh, that'd be cool. I mean, obviously, I understand for international listeners to the U. Oh, well, international. That just means anyone not in the UK, which really, it's not international to you. It's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I, I'm aware I've got a big Bermudan fan base, uh, which was, was a delightful surprise. I think that's one of the things as podcast creators, uh, when you go on the charts and things, you sort of see where you pop up in different countries so thank you for listening everyone across the world it's mad mad what are you doing anyway uh, as a little thank you this is my uh, my song it's called fluffy white wings thank you very much everybody and i will see you in 2022 <laughs> It's Christmas time again Like last year It's all still the same I'm made to stand on the stage Oh, with a tea towel A tea towel on my head I'll always be the shepherd In the school nativity play But I dream, I dream of being an angel Even if it's just for one day Mom and Dad gazing up at me as I look down from upon the balcony away from sitting on the floor with an aftoy sheep looking like a less masculine bobe. But I know I will always be the shepherd In the school nativity play Spread them fluffy white wings and fly.